Hey everybody, Keith Dotson here, and in this video we will be exploring and photographing the abandoned ghost town of downtown Pamplin City, Virginia. Pamplin City has a population less than 250 people now, but it was historically a thriving little community. It was originally called Merriman's Shop after a shoe shop located in the area as early as the 1820s. A post office was established in 1826, but people lived there since the early 1700s. A guy named Nicholas Pamplin donated a large tract of land in the 1850s to accommodate a railroad line, and the town was formally named Pamplin City in his honor in 1874. It was also known as Pamplin Depot for a while. The town had many churches, four doctors, a flour mill, a lumber mill, a mill for making tobacco barrels, a blacksmith shop, a livery stable, a silent movie theater, restaurants, a tavern, and more. I don't know which of these were located here on Main Street, but they were all destroyed in a big fire in 1909, which resulted in a city ordinance that new construction must be now made of brick. So while I don't have any definitive dates on these buildings we'll be looking at today, probably none are earlier than 1909. Before we explore the downtown in detail and go walking around, let's look at these old clay tobacco pipes on display in this uh, shop window here. Pamplin was a major maker of clay pipes from the 1860s until 1952, believe it or not, when the last factory closed. They literally made millions of clay smoking pipes here. Before the pipe factories were established, individuals made handmade clay pipes in the region since the early 1700s, and it's said that Thomas Jefferson and Benjamin Franklin both smoked tobacco with Pamplin clay pipes. I don't know specifically what happened to cause this town to become a ghost town, but I suspect it was probably a combination of things, the closing of the pipe factories in 1952, uh, and probably combined with uh, the bypassing of the railroad from here. Here's a historic photo collage recreation of the downtown from a design plan created by a university for the city in 2012. They were, uh, I guess, tasked with coming up with some design recommendations to make it more attractive for visitors. We can get an idea how the area looked in what appears to be maybe the 1960s. And here's another undated photo from a book called Appomattox County, Virginia.
The Williams Brothers Grocery and Hardware Store was a general store run by Harry and Woodrow Williams. Harry was also the postmaster, and Woodrow, or Woody Williams, was a professional baseball player with the Brooklyn Dodgers and the Cincinnati Reds. Interestingly to me, as a, a Nashville Metro resident, he also played in the minor leagues in Nashville in 1939 for the Nashville Volunteers, a team that no longer exists. Woody Williams retired from baseball in 1949 and operated the Williams Grocery in Pamplin for 30 years. He died in 1995 at age 82. Okay, well that's all I have about Pamplin City, so there'll be no more narration from here on, but be sure to hold on to the end of the video and check out the black and white photographs I shot of these gorgeous old relics.
Thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to visit my website, keithdotson.com.